A Twin Cities father, mother, and three children are all gone. And police think one of them caused this family tragedy. Police discovered Brian Short, his wife Karen, and their teenage children, 17-year-old Cole, 15-year-old Madison, and 14-year-old Brooklyn, dead in an apparent murder-suicide this afternoon. Investigators went to check the family's home in Greenwood just before 12.30. Employees were concerned when Brian Short didn't show up for work. The family lived in a multi-million dollar home on Lake Minnetonka. That is where WCCO's John Lordson begins our team coverage this evening. John? Yeah, Frank, this has been an active scene all day long. Police have been coming and going. Investigators have been coming and going. The medical examiner was here most of the evening. They left about an hour ago. And friends and neighbors we talked with say they're in utter disbelief this tragedy happened here. During a typical late summer day, Manor Road is quiet, scenic, and serene. But today, police cars and crime scene tape were signs that something unthinkable happened. Brian was always out there in the wintertime with his little four-wheeler, helping to clear the snow. Doug Plosick lives across the street from the home Brian Short shared with his wife Karen and their three children. He heard about what happened this afternoon. So to have something this, of this magnitude, and especially when it involves children, it, it just tears me apart. After the family's three children failed to show up at Minnetonka High School the past two days, a co-worker of Brian Short's stopped by the home and discovered what authorities are calling an unspeakable tragedy. The bodies of all five family members are found in different parts of the home, the victims of an apparent murder-suicide. There's no words to describe it. I've been a cop for 32 years, and uh, they say an event like this with an entire family so I say a tragedy. As police began their investigation, friends of the family began to show up. Roy Shepers was a classmate of Cole Short. Around a bonfire I was with him. He seemed happy, he was laughing with us. Life was good. You pray for all their family and their friends and you mourn the loss of uh, the kids, primarily. Um, they hadn't had enough time to really enjoy life. Yeah, police say there's no threat or danger to the public. The chief told us this is a complex crime scene that will take several days to process. And again, some of the first responders that were here, the chief told us he's going to seek counseling for them. That's how tragic this scene was when they walked inside, Frank. A very understandable, John. Thanks.